So I have to tell you about another best friend that I have in the kitchen. It's the Deluxe Cooking Blender. You guys, this thing does so much more than blend. <laughs> I cannot believe all the different things that I am using it for, from breakfast to lunch to dinner, and then even snacks and things like that. So I love to make homemade jam, but there's no way that I had time to sit and stand at the stovetop and do all the things that it requires. But did you know that this deluxe cooking blender can actually make jam for you with three simple ingredients? It does, and it's mind blowing. So what happens when you get the deluxe cooking blender, you actually get this cooking guide that comes with it with more than 60 different recipes, and it takes you step by step on what you can do with it. My family is a peanut butter loving family, and guess what I'm now doing that I never thought I'd do in a million years? I am making my own homemade peanut butter with honey roasted peanuts no other ingredients. I store it in the fridge. It only takes two minutes to make it and it's smooth and creamy and it is delicious. Like you are going to notice a flavor change when you make your own things because there's no preservatives in them and maybe there's less salt or whatever you might want to tinker with. Now you can make other things too. So there is a smoothie setting of course. So what that means is you put your items in, you put it on the setting and in one minute you have this delicious smooth smoothie. And you can even add some enrichables to it where you can get some kale and fiber or pea protein in it as well. And you can make smoothie bowls. You can also use the alternative milk setting. So let's say you love almond milk, cashew milk, rice milk, oat milk, any of those alternative milks that maybe your family has to have, you can make those in here in such a small amount of time. So it tells you exactly what to do. You can also do the grind setting, which I mentioned with nuts. So almond butter, cashew butter, peanut butter, super seed butter, sunflower, sunflower seed butter. So even if you have a nut allergy, you can still make your own sunflower seed butter. We know that a lot of times those specialty things are a little bit more expensive, where this you can make it yourself. You can even grind up your own whole wheat berries and make whole wheat flour. You can make a roasted red pepper dip or make your own delicious hummus. I do that once a week in my house. Soup is out of this world. Butternut squash soup, cauliflower soup, broccoli cheese soup, cheesy potato soup, all those things that normally you'd have to do a lot at the stove or even in the oven, you don't have to do that. You can just put your raw ingredients in here. It will cook it to temperature and blend it. So you don't have to pre-cook anything. You just pop it in. It's really that simple. And then you can get the freezer bowl set to actually portion out your soup and you can have soup for lunch every single day and you are going to feel good about what you're what you're eating. You're, there's also a heated puree setting. So for vegetables or you want to add a little extra veggies to your sauce of whatever kind, maybe you want to make hidden, hidden veggie marinara sauce, you can do that as well, starting with raw carrots, raw zucchini, and tomatoes. You can make homemade sauce like gravies. You can do Alfredo sauce. You can do homemade hot chocolate, like real stuff, right? You can do hollandaise sauce, sausage gravy, nacho cheese sauce. I just had a host that got this and she's like, oh my goodness, that stuff is out of this world. And we're like in the bowl. The jam setting I mentioned. And then of course you have, you know, your frozen drinks and your nice cream. So maybe if you can't have dairy, you can make nice cream, which is fruit with alternative milk and it's fantastic. So these are all the things you can do with it. I have been doing all those things with mine. I'm using it a couple times a day, not just for smoothies. I had a previous blender that all I did was make smoothies with it. This opens up a whole new world and I love it and so does my family and I hope you do too.